Welcome to Flagship Wharf, a 10-story luxury brick condo building with 201 luxury residents, a 516-car garage, and 34,000 square feet of commercial space. Flagship Wharf was built in 1989 and is considered one of Boston's most prestigious buildings, which offers its residents many different amenities, such as valet parking, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and even a lending library. And then there's its amazing location, which we're gonna talk about momentarily. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb and welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that like and subscribe button below. And if you're thinking about making a move in and around Boston and wanna talk real estate friend to friend, then find my information in the description below as well. Now, Flagship Wharf is located in the Navy Yard, which is a neighborhood in Charlestown. The Charlestown Navy Yard was one of actually of the original six yards that formed to support the U.S. Navy and was one of the oldest shipbuilding facilities for the military branch. Today, though, it's a lot different. The Navy Yard's been transformed to a residential community that really attracts thousands of tourists while offering lavish apartments, condos, and townhouses with awe-inspiring waterfront views. Now, the tourists generally come to visit the two historic ships that are housed here, the USS Cass and Young, as well as the USS Constitution, which is also known as Old Ironsides and is actually the oldest commissioned warship in the world. Now, residents flock to the Navy Yard for its convenience, its leisurely setting, and quaint community vibe. But let's just jump back into Flagship Wharf and what makes this building so special. Flagship Wharf offers a wide range of condos with one bedroom units that average around 850 square feet to 3,000 plus square foot penthouse units that sport large private outdoor areas with sweeping views of Boston Harbor as well as the skyline. And as I mentioned earlier, Flagship Wharf was built in 1989, which really means it was built to offer the modern luxuries that many of us have really come to expect as well as, quite frankly, desire. What type of luxuries? Well, it's true, closet space isn't really considered a luxury. That is until you live in a condo that was built in 1900 with those tiny closets that you'd only find back then. Units of Flagship Worth have the space that you never feel cramped while having the space to just tuck away the many things that we've accumulated over the years. And Flagship Worth also has a large garage, which is not something you're gonna find easily when living on the hill, as an example. Now, other luxuries include in-unit laundry, marble floors, soaring ceilings, high-end kitchens, as well as hardwood floors. You're also not gonna to wanna to miss the 24-hour concierge, as that really tends to be one of the main signs earning building that luxury designation, if you will. And I'm sure you've heard of the old adage, location, 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 and if that is really what makes this building and neighborhood so special. Convenience-wise, it's just a couple minutes away from the highways, Commuters also are able to basically just walk right out the door and jump on the ferry, which runs every 15 minutes during the morning and evening commuting hours, and then on the actual half an hour between those commuting hours. Now, residents are also able to utilize the MGH shuttle, which is gonna take them straight to uh, North Station. So it's true, Flagship Wharf is a convenient place to call home, but there's also the serenity of its location really as well. And I'm gonna admit, serenity and the city, they normally don't go hand in hand, but I think you may quickly realize what I'm talking about as you start walking the Harbor Walk. And if walking the Harbor Walk isn't your thing, then maybe you just wanna sit on one of the many benches that overlook the Harbor and just sit and watch the boats go by. And if that doesn't quite float your boat, see what I did there, then there's always the Naval Shipyard Park. It's a five acre park that overlooks Boston Harbor. It's a very dog friendly park. The park also has uh, the Anchor, which is a really cool beer and wine garden that has food and outdoor seating. Um, you will also find live performances as well as music at the Anchor too. Now the park also offers playgrounds, splash pads, and an amphitheater, and obviously is adorned with picnic tables and benches. I'd say that this park is probably one of Boston's best parks. And this park is literally right outside of Flagship Wharf store. It's also just steps away from two full service marinas as well as fine dining and a bunch of cafes throughout the Navy Yard. Another fun fact is that many parts of the 2006 film The Departed were actually shot inside and around Flagship Wharf. And while Leo and Matt Damon don't live here, uh, but you might just bump into some local star athletes playing on the Celtics or the Bruins. Now in the description below, I've included a link that's gonna take you to all the condos that are currently for sale in Flagship Wharf. I have also uh, have another link down there that's going to take you to all available Charlestown homes for sale. If you have any questions about this building, the neighborhood, or really any buildings or neighborhoods around Boston, then let me know. I'm always here to help. You can reach me at 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com.